and here this is our full moon tomorrow right and so this can happen on the day of the lunar event as we know or as the research shows up to three days after so we can have this happen this mark up happen either tomorrow over the weekend late on sunday early on monday okay so that is exciting and again the idea is a move up here isn't just any move up it's a move up completing this pattern retracing most likely this resistance and then being sent off into space price discovery where there are no prior resistances to the bitcoin price now this is exciting for bitcoin but even more exciting for altcoins Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for almost, sometimes, daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is June 20th, 2024, and I'm finally coming to you with a video after a very long time, because today is a special day, and we may get one of the largest, most intense, most amazing pumps in not just Bitcoin, but the rest of the cryptocurrency market as a result. If that sounds interesting to you, then watch until the very end. Hope everyone's having a great day. Listen, today is June 20th. Tomorrow's June 21st. Tomorrow is the next full moon. Okay, it's not just any full moon. It's the next full moon and it also coincides with a very interesting chart pattern. Where am I going with this? Okay, for those of you who don't know, some of you may not at all know what I'm talking about. There is research, extensive research done about moon phases and financial markets. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Essentially, it goes like this. 50 plus years of research has shown have shown that full moons coincide with local market bottoms in financial markets, okay, with a high degree of probability. New moons coincide with a local market top in financial markets, okay? Tomorrow is a full moon, meaning we should expect a local market bottom, okay? I'm gonna show you this. This is Bitcoin on the daily time frame, obviously, and as you can see, this white line is representative of our all-time high resistance, okay? So we've been under this all-time high resistance since this point in March, okay? So for about three months, three and a half months, we've been under this all-time high resistance. Now, what have we been doing under this all-time high resistance? Rejecting? No. We've been showing strength, as you can see, very likely forming a bullish reversal pattern, an inverse head and shoulders under all-time high resistance. So this three plus months consolidating and showing strength under all-time high. Why is that important? Because if indeed this represents a local market bottom, and I'm going to turn on my moon phases indicators for those of you who may think I'm just blowing smoke, smoke, making things up. Look at this. And this is a consolidation range, mind you, right? It's not even the most, the best example of the lunar phases. If you want to see the best examples, the most stark examples, look at the lunar phases in impulsive price action. Nevertheless, we're going to look at this in this consolidation range because we're not going to spend... Uh, all video talking about the lunar phases but if you can see local market top new moon new moon local market top new moon local market top new moon local market top right down 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 okay and then here we go full moon local market bottom full moon local market bottom full moon local market bottom up eh, slightly up slightly up right and here, this is our full moon tomorrow, 
right? And so this can happen on the day of the lunar event, as we know, or as the research shows, up to three days after. So we can have this happen, this markup happen either tomorrow, over the weekend, late on Sunday, early on Monday. Okay, so that is exciting. And again, the idea is a move up here isn't just any move up, it's a move up completing this pattern, retracing most likely this resistance, and then being sent off into space. Price discovery where there are no prior resistances to the Bitcoin price. Now, this is exciting for Bitcoin, but even more exciting for altcoins. Look at Bitcoin's, um, what is this? Uh, relative strength indicator, right? The stochastic relative strength indicator, my favorite, one of my favorite indicators. Look what it's doing, double bottoming on the daily time frame. If you go on the weekly time frame, look what it does, okay? You're about to form, again, a double bottom on the weekly time frame when this closes on Sunday, right? So high time frames were good. Small time frames were looking strong. That's the four hourly. This is the one hourly. Do you see? I mean, every time frame from the weekly all the way down to the hourly is down in this oversold region and is bullish, designating a strong move to the upside should we get one, okay? So that's Bitcoin. Now I'm going to show you an example of an altcoin, a top 10 altcoin that is likely to melt faces, right? And some analysts like to think, oh, this coin is going to do well. That coin, no, no, pretty much everything is going to pump. And that's what characterizes a bull market. Pretty much everything pumps. So now I'm going to show you the example of Cardano. So small time frame, Cardano has put in this small range, right? A, B, that's a zigzag. A, B, that's a bigger zigzag. Now a smaller zigzag. So three sets of A, B bases, right? And this, if it happens tomorrow, is your breakout. Okay, that's on the small time frame, on the hourly. On the four hourly slash daily, let me fix this chart. We have something else. Let's turn the moon phases indicator on or off rather, but you can see on the daily time frame, Cardano has put in a very nice consolidation channel, all right, since April. And as with any consolidation channel, towards the end, you spring out, okay? For those of you who are studying Wyckoff analysis or who have studied Wyckoff analysis, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Basically, you're in an orthogonal sideways channel and then you look like you're about to lose it. We call that a spring in Wyckoff analysis. And then you recover and break through the channel, come back, retest the midline, and then continue on. That is what's happening more likely than not in Cardano. OK, and that would be very exciting. Zooming out even more on the weekly. And I want you just to focus or pay attention. Look at the stochastic RSI on the daily time frame for Cardano. Look what it's doing. It's crossing bullish in completely oversold territory. You go on a weekly time frame. You're about a double bottom on the uh, on the weekly time frame in Cardano. Right. Again, four hour looks great. You're about to cross bullish on the four hour alert, even though it is in overbought territory. And the hourly, you're putting in strong double bottom, right? That is bullishly divergent even on the hourly time frame. So this is super exciting. And now what I want to show you, the last thing I want to show you is what this all means on a high time frame. It's not just a move up, it's the move up. Why is it the move up? So it's, again, very exciting for Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to go places. But these altcoins, when they start going, they make Bitcoin look very average in its sort of percent gains, right? So look at this. The previous bull market for this Cardano you go up in five waves, you come down in three. Okay, that's wave one, wave two situation, maybe. Okay, now after this 
bull bear market declension, sorry, this drawdown of the asset, you have a bear market consolidation, okay? That bear market consolidation marked up and then retested the top of the consolidation. Do you see that? That is massive. And most every asset is going to do some version of this. After all of those years of consolidating to the side, you pop up and you retest the top previous resistance of the bear market. And that's what Cardano is doing to break out into a new bull market. So this was the old bull market and this is the new bull market right here about to start for Cardano and for a lot of other altcoins. That's it for me, guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was useful. Like, share, and subscribe if you got value or consider buying me a coffee at the link below and I will see you next time. Take care.